Hi, I'm Jerry. I make motherhood and lifestyle content as of today. <laughs> I have been toying with the idea of starting this channel for a long time. My wonderful husband, almost five years, Shane, has been really encouraging. This year has been really tough for everyone, and it's been really isolating, and one of the things that has helped me personally get through is being able to connect with other people on YouTube. Something that I looked forward to when I was going to become a mom was sharing that journey with other moms. I found out that I was pregnant on Christmas of last year, 2019. And so I spent the majority of 2020 pregnant and trying to limit my exposure to as many people as possible. <laughs> my husband Shane and I have two sweet little boys, Oliver, who will be two on Sunday, 27th of December, and Forrest, who will be four months on New Year's Eve. We love family. We love being with family. 2020 has made that very difficult. I wanted to be able to create a space where we could share our passions and also have a way to make our family feel present with us. I'm a full-time photographer. After four years of telling other people's stories, encouraging them to celebrate the magic that's in the mundane of every day, I decided to take my own advice and share the magic within my own home. Um, my husband Shane has a newfound love of woodworking and has turned his side of the garage into a wood shop. I have this problem with staring at parts of our house and asking Shane to rebuild them for me. <laughs> That's how uh, we have a fireplace behind us. This was not here before and then I stared at the wall too much and was like, you know what we need? A fireplace. So I really want to use this channel as a way to show all of the things that we have done within our home and allow others like myself who have been really wanting connection access to it <laughs> safely and also give our families who are not close to us access to our children and watching them grow. For this first video, I wanted to share how we transformed or made little tiny adjustments to Oliver's room for his second birthday. We have been really interested in the Montessori approach to learning, and it just encourages kids to develop independence through play. <laughs> we wanted to update his space, give him something a little bit more age appropriate that he could grow into and grow with. Yeah, we chose to do a magnetic chalk wall and we chose to take out his dresser and replace it with a wardrobe that Shane built. We wanted the wardrobe to be easily accessible for him so that he could have some autonomy and feel a sense of independence in choosing his clothes and what he wants to wear. And honestly, it's 2020, we're not going anywhere, so who cares? <laughs> wear whatever you want. We also intend to put a little self-care station over there. He has a mirror on the side of the wardrobe that Shane built, but we also want to add another mirror and some makeup brushes and some hair brushes and a toothbrush and some tissues, just some other things that are basic hygiene or self-care products. Do I care if my son puts makeup brushes on his face? No, I don't. He sees me put on makeup, he thinks it's fun. He might like the way that it feels, so if he wants to do it, we might stop it, you know? The goal is to kind of make his room a very imaginative safe space for him. He has a floor bed that Shane built for him. Um, eventually we want to turn it, we, we, we want to turn it into like a tent style, as seen here. I can't sew, so I'm hoping that we'll figure out a way to make this happen. There's also going to be a little reading station in the corner. Shane is in the process of making more bookshelves because the one that he has now simply is not cutting it. <laughs> He'll have a little beanbag chair there so that he can read in there whenever 
flip through pages. It is the cutest thing to listen to him battle through a book. <laughs> we didn't know this was going to be a two-part video, but it is going to be a two-part video. And today we are mostly focusing on the wardrobe and the chalk wall. And it's not just a chalk wall, it's also magnetized. It's a magnetized chalk wall. So uh, let's get into it. First things first, we needed to clear out what was in his room before. He had a Montessori-style toy shelf in there. All of his toys and puzzles were displayed, and he was able to engage and interact with whatever he chose. But we intend to repurpose that in the basement playroom whenever we get around to doing that. And if this goes well, I'll bring you along for that too. After kind of clearing things out, we started with figuring out where we wanted this chalk wall to go. And I love arches. I think arches add so much character to a space. And to complete the arch design, we got a tack and some string. We measured out how big we wanted it to be. We put the tack kind of in the center and then we extended the string and just moved it along in a, in a circular motion, making little marks along the way so that we could connect it to create a semicircle. Then we used the level to put lines straight down. Once we finished with that, it was time to paint. The idea is that we put like six coats of this, which seems like a lot. This is supposedly supposed to make the wall, the wall magnetic, and then you can paint over it. So then we will do chalkboard paint over it. And you will have a magnetic chalk wall. It doesn't really have a spot. I was worried for nap time. Okay. Hoping for the best here. After one coat, this is what we have. I feel like part of up here is two coats because it's drying so quickly. They said it takes half an hour to dry, but you can already see like down here is what I just did. It's wet. It's like drastically different than up there. So again, there's going to be baseboard down there, so we don't really care about making that clean, but okay. Only five more to go. <laughs> Okay, I already tested this, so this is not like a totally fair first reaction, but I got a magnet because I wanted to see if it actually worked or if I got got. And look. <gasps> what? Part of me is like, did I just find a stud? And that's why it's doing it, but I think. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's try again, different spot. <gasps> what? Oh, how stinking cool. <laughs> After two coats, I feel like that's pretty good. And after six, it'll definitely be strong enough for us to paint one coat of chalk paint over top of it. Ah, I'm so excited! Six coats of that paint ended up being the entire can of it that we got. I think we got like a pint, a quart. I don't know paint sizes. I'll leave the link in the description box. <laughs> I think you probably would use less if you used a roller, but I used a paintbrush and the paint is super thick and so I freaking just like was globbing it on. <laughs> so it's six coats, but it's like six thick coats. Um, and all of his magnets are sticking to it. He had so much fun playing with it last night. Yeah! <gasps> what is that? A stone. Is it honey? Bee, bee. It is a bee. Bee, bee, bee. Yeah, that's a bee. I'm kind of just exploring. So today, I'll be doing a coat or two of chalkboard paint. And then I hope to get the border. There's going to be a wood border around the arch. So we're hoping that that gets put up as well. It's not made yet, so we don't know how we're going to make it. <laughs> but I might be able to show you a little bit of that process as well. While we were waiting, we decided to bring in the wardrobe. This is a wardrobe that Shane had built. I kind of like, I had looked at other designs on Pinterest and on Amazon and I couldn't find 
the exact thing that I was wanting. So I kind of sketched it and <laughs> I'm horrible at sketching things, but Shane has this way of, of knowing what I'm talking about. And so he built this wardrobe. He made a spot so we have six different areas for drawers, or you can leave them as open shelves. We have three drawers and three open shelves. And there are two bars so that he can hang some of his nicer shirts and his pants. So I mentioned before that this is going to be a two-part situation because I did not anticipate all of this taking as long as it did. <laughs> um, so after we brought in Ollie's new rug, I ordered this rug and when it first came in it smelled like literal fumes and so we left it in our breezeway to air out for like a week and by the time we brought it in it was totally fine. So after nap times and meals and everything else that has to happen throughout the day with two under two, Shane was able to start the install of the trim around the arch. Again, I really wanted this to have some architectural interest in the room. So I wanted the chalk wall to look like a doorway, kind of. The trim not only helped Ollie recognize that his area of play was within the parameters of this trim, but it also helped uh, clean up my mess because if there's anything I know about myself, it's that I'm a tornado when it comes to DIYing or just painting in general. I, I just am chaotic. Somebody, somebody wanted to join us for the rest of this. In addition to adding the trim, we also added a few command hooks to the side and added some baskets. This just helped keep some of his magnets organized. Who is it? Dada. Will you show me? Dada. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. So everyone can see, there's Mama. <laughs> Mama! That's also where we stored the eraser for the chalk. The chalk is also in one of the baskets, which makes it so much easier to make sure that he doesn't have access to it unsupervised. Because for nap time and bedtime, I just take it off the wall, walk out, no issues. Hmm. So have a couple more things that we want to do, but the wardrobe and the chalk wall seemed to be a, a huge hit, such a small change that made such a big difference for him in that space. And we're really, really excited to see how he uses it and to see what he creates on the chalk wall and if he uses it in any other kind of imaginative play. We'll keep you updated on how he likes it. So far, we spent a lot of time playing with the chalkboard. <laughs> this morning and like we combined I don't know why I never thought of this we combined the chalk with the magnets so like I drew the ocean and then like put the boat magnet on it and then drew a tree and put the parrot in the tree it was so fun why is it so fun you weren't there you were napping you were always napping yeah Oh my god, so big. I'm really excited to keep creating for this channel and to share our family with you and all the little changes that we keep making to our space to make our home our home. I want to do baby updates. Ollie loves baking. I'm thinking that we're going to record us baking his birthday cake. I don't love baking with Ollie because I have control issues and that's something that I need to bring up therapy. I also love to talk about mental health. Parenting is hard. Parenting in 2020 is real hard. <laughs> so, and I want to normalize the stigma around mental health and moms asking for help. Because uh, people praise us for doing it all, but it is hard to do it all. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this and you want to see more, say click like and subscribe and hit the notification and all the other YouTube things. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!